This video explains normal distribution, which is a branch of statistics and also problems based on normal distributions. These problems have applications in the GRE quantitative section. So what is a normal distribution? A normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve. You have the mean which is denoted by mu which is at the center and the standard deviation. 68% of the observations fall within one standard deviation of the mean mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. So we have 34 on one side and 34% on the other side of the mean. 95% of the observations lie within two standard deviations of the mean mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma. And 99.7% of the observations lie within three standard deviations of the mean mu minus 3 sigma to mu plus 3 sigma, the observations are 99.7%. So I repeat once more, a normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve. The mean mu is at the center and standard deviation, you have mu minus sigma, mu plus sigma on either side of the mean, which is 68%. Then you have mu minus 2 sigma, mu plus 2 sigma, 95% of the observations are covered and mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma cover 99.7% of the observations. Between 1 and 2 standard deviations above the mean, the number of observations is 13.5% and between 1 and 2 standard deviations below the mean, the number of observations is 13.5%. That means between mu minus 2 sigma to mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma to mu plus 2 sigma, number of observations is 13.5%. Between 2 and 3 standard deviations above the mean, number of observations is 2%. So between mu plus 2 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma, number of observations is 2%. And between mu minus 3 sigma and mu minus 2 sigma, Number of observations is again 2%. Coming to problems which are asked in GRE, quantitative section, the first problem, the random variable x is normally distributed. The values 650 and 850 are at the 60th and 90th percentile of the distribution of x respectively. Your quantity A which is the value at the 75th percentile and quantity B which is 750. We need to decide whether the quantity in column A is greater, the quantity in column B is greater, the two quantities are equal or whether the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. First of all, when you come to percentile, you are dividing the entire distribution into 100 parts and one percentile is 1 by 100th part. So I have marked the 60th percentile and the 90th percentile. Value at the 60th percentile is 650, value at the 90th percentile is 850. Now area between the 60th and the 90th percentile should be area between the 75th and the 90th, 60th and the 75th percentile should be equal to area between the 75th and the 90th percentile. The 75th percentile has to be more towards the 60th percentile since the graph between the 60th and the 75th is wider towards the center and as it tapers towards the end the area is small. So the value 750 is exactly between 650 and 850 whereas the 75th percentile is more towards the 60th percentile. Hence looking at the graph we can say that the value 750 is greater. So quantity B is greater so the answer will be B. Coming to the next question, assuming a normal distribution in a sample of 1000, if the average is 0.135 with a standard deviation of 0 0.021, 0 0.205 is how many standard deviations from the mean? Again going to the bell shaped curve, you have the average 0 0.135 at the center and if you subtract 0 0.205 from the minus 0 0.135, you get 0 0.07. 0 0.07 divided by the standard deviation of 0 0.021 will give you 3.3, which means the value 
0.205 is 3 to 4 standard deviations from the mean. Coming to the third question, a survey is conducted to determine how many strawberries are eaten by 100,000 people during a one year period. The number of strawberries is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 29 strawberries and a standard deviation of 4 strawberries eaten by approximately each person. According to this data, approximately how many of the surveyed people ate more than 25 strawberries during the course of the year? You have A which is 16,000, B which is 48,000, C 60,000, D 68,000 and E 84,000. Again coming to the bell shaped curve, the mean is 29 and the standard deviation is 4. So one standard deviation below the mean is 29 minus 4 which is 25. You need to find how many of the surveyed people ate more than 25 strawberries. So one side of the mean will be 50%, 34% is one standard deviation below the mean. So number of people who ate more than 25 strawberries will be 50% plus 34%, that is 84%. So the answer is 84% of the total number, which is 100,000, which is 84,000. So your answer is E. Coming to the fourth question. The figure shows a normal distribution with mean M and standard deviation D including approximate percents of the distribution distributed in these regions. You have 34% here, 34%, 14%, 14%, 2%, 2%. Suppose the heights of a population of 3000 adult penguins are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 65 cm and a standard deviation of 5 cm. Approximately how many of the adult penguins are between 65 cm and 75 cm tall? That's the first part of the question. We have the mean is 65, standard deviation is 5, so 65 and 75 will be two standard deviations from the mean. That will be 34% plus 14% which is 48% of the total number of penguins which is 3000. So number of adult penguins between 65 centimeters and 75 centimeters is 1440. Going back to the second question, if an adult penguin is chosen at random from the population, approximately what is the probability that the penguin's height will be less than 60 centimeters? Give your answer to the nearest 0 0.05. Here yeah, the mean of 65, one standard deviation below the mean is 60. So number of penguins with height less than 60 will be 2% here, 2 standard deviations below the mean and 14% here. Since it is less than 60, we take it as approximately 2 plus 13% that is 15% of 3000 which is 450. So estimated probability, we need to find the estimated probability that the penguin's height will be less than 60 centimeters. So estimated probability will be 450 divided by the total number of penguins that is 3000 which is 0.15 approximately. So that ends the, the video. Thank you for watching.